Hi, welcome to Storytime with Mayor Glenn Johnson of the City of Pullman, Washington. Our Neo Public Library is closed down right now, so we have some books that we're going to share with you. And you can catch a number of different episodes right here at Neo Public Library. Now, before we do everything, as we know during this COVID-19 problem we have, we've got to wash our hands, okay? Or if you don't have soap and water with you, you got hand sanitizers. So we're going to make sure that our hands are nice at the front and the back and everything is nice and clean. And when you do wash your hands with soap and water, remember you're going to sing happy birthday twice, right? 20 seconds worth. And wash your hands front and back really carefully because we don't want you to get sick. This is called Carl and the Meaning of Life. This story about Carl and the meaning of life. Carl was not a bird. See, there's a bird up there. Carl was not a bear or a beaver. Carl was an earthworm. He lived underground, moving always moving, burrowing, tunneling, digesting, dead leaves, feasting, casting, turning hard dirt into fluffy soil day after day. Sorry, I had to turn just to read that part. Why? asked a field mouse gathering seeds. Why do you do that? Why? Carl didn't know why, but now he needed to find out, so Carl stopped making fluffy soil. I'll be right back, he told the field mouse. He spotted a rabbit. Maybe she knew. Why do I do what I do, he asked her. Oh, goodness dear, she said. I do not know. I do what I do for my babies. But Carl did not have any babies. A fox appeared. Carl turned to the fox. Why do I do what I do, asked Carl. Who do I do it for? For whom, replied the fox. Alas, my meal awaits. I am here for the hunt. But Carl did not want to hunt. Why are you talking to a fox? cried the squirrel. Carl was startled because the field mouse is waiting and wants to know what I am here for. The squirrel declared, I am here to plant trees. Trees are where I sleep. But Carl could not sleep, not high in a tree, and not without an answer for the mouse. He pushed on. What? And on. Hours turned into days until the soil was no longer fluffy. The ground around Carl turned barren and dry. Ooh. While he continued to search, why? And there's a sigh in the little earthworm over there. But the birds had flown off to find grasses and fluff. The bears trundled away to look for berries. Soon there was nobody left to talk to. What about me? called Carl. The clouds were silent. So was the air. I will never find out, he sniffled. Then Carl heard his sniffle echo, followed by a squeak. I can't find any grub, a voice cried. It was the saddest ground beetle he had ever seen. Carl peeked under a stone, no grub. And then he poked at the dirt. It was hard like a rock. Where was the fluffy soil? Suddenly, Carl knew what he needed to do. 
I'll be back, he promised. And for hours and the days, weeks and months, Carl munched and digested, left casting, and then tunneled. And he turned that hard dirt back into rich soil. You made my seeds grow, said the mouse. Clover blossomed once again and the rabbit came back with her kits. The squirrel returned to plant new trees. The fox was lured by the hunt, all of them able to do what they do. How? Well, why not ask Carl? That's Carl and the meaning of life, and now Carl knows. Here's a book by Mo Willems. It's called I Am Going. I am going. This is a good day. Just like yesterday. Yes, yesterday was a good day too. Well, I am going. You're going? You're going away? Yes, you cannot go. You must not go. I will not let you go. I am going. about me? Who will I skip with? Who will I play ping pong with? Who will I wear a silly hat with? Who will I skip and play ping pong in a silly hat with? I am so sorry, Gerald. But I am going. Fine. Then I will go too. Watch me go. I am going. Look at me go. Have fun. Wait. Go later. Go tomorrow. Go next week. Go next month. Go next year. I am going now. Now? Why, Piggy? Why, 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 why? It's lunchtime, Gerald. Lunchtime? I'm going to eat lunch. You're going to eat lunch? Yes. Oh. Piggy? Yes, Gerald? Is it a big lunch? This is a good day. Just like yesterday. And that's I Am Going. Thank you for joining us for episode five. I hope you enjoyed the books we read today. Now, don't forget, you can give us your requests and let us know because we have Neal Public Library that we can get to during this time when they have to be closed. And we thank the people at Neal Public Library for doing such a great job year in and year out. And they have to be closed during this COVID-19 episode, okay? But let us know your questions and any requests you have, and we'll read them. 
Thanks for joining us, and we'll see you next time.